What's up, Alfonso Nation? It's Alfonso Peterman here today, and um, we are currently, it is currently right now, 3.56, almost 4 o'clock, which means we're going to be uh, three hours away until Transformers The Last Night premiere. Um, so this is my second to last episode of the Approaching TF5 series. Um, the next episode is going to be the coverage of the event. And so this is my last kind of sit down talking with you guys directly video for the Approaching TF5 series. Because uh, the next one is going to be in the event. So uh, basically, I just wanted to provide my my final remarks, final thoughts about the film. Um, I truly think that, number one, the marketing for this film was amazing. The way that Michael Bay and Paramount and all of these companies, the way that they prepared for this film and prepared us for this film with the trailers, TV spots, all that, the way they did that was insane. In conclusion, I am not going to say that I expect a lot from this film because... I'm a firm believer that when you expect a lot of something that you've never seen and then it doesn't meet those expectations, then you wind up just disappointed. And that's not how I want to feel about this film. I want to encourage everybody because I know some of you guys are watching it tonight with me. Um, some of you guys are watching it tomorrow night. Some of you guys are watching it this weekend. Whatever the case, I want to encourage everybody before going into this film, go in there with an open mind. Go in there without expecting too much from this movie because when you start to expect things like I said you can get disappointed I don't want you to not enjoy your experience we've been waiting for this for three years since the end of Age of Extinction in 2014 and we're finally like it's the release of this movie I don't want last minute false expectancies to ruin your experience please go in there just enjoy the movie enjoy the action you guys are gonna be fine um, I think this movie is going to be very action-packed. I do expect that. Why? Because it is a Michael Bay film. <laughs> uh, Michael Bay, the Bay Farmers films are all very explosive, very full of action. Um, and uh, it will be the first film I will watch in IMAX. So I am super, super excited. I've never seen anything in IMAX before. And this is also a, 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 a <laughs> it's a historical release because um, this is the first film ever to be filmed with customized native IMAX 3D cameras. And I want you guys to know that this is not an end, okay? This is not like the end of something. It is an end of a journey because this film is coming out, but it's also the dawn of a new journey. Michael Bay confirmed it himself that they have written 14 more stories, 14 routes and plots for 14 more films that can be confirmed and meet. So we are far from over, but we are one step ahead because this film is fixing to come out. So, guys, I'm excited. It's a bittersweet moment, very emotional moment because this is like something I've been expecting for a long time and we're finally closing that chapter. But it's also a very victorious moment because we've accomplished that. Now we can move on to the next journey. But that's my final remarks. This is my second to last episode of the Approaching TF5 series. Thank you for all your support that you've shown me throughout the entire uh, journey that we had in the past, the past three years. You guys are freaking incredible. We grew so tremendously in the time that we had. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We're going, we're, we're heading out right now. So we're, we're fixing to leave, go to the theater. Thank you for watching. My name is Alfonso, and I will catch you back at the primary event. The primary event. The IMAX event. Peace out.